So in the last video, I was talking about how I've been playing two years and I'm still a beginner. And I was going into the reasons why, and one of them was I've started a program that I just didn't finish. So rather than just, you know, talking the talk, I figured I'd walk the talk also. I went back to Justin Guitar and went to that beginner course and Whew, show them and uh, that takes some time so feeling inspired I, I decided I'll make a quick beginners crash course with everything that every guitarist should know um so yeah it's not stolen it's inspired so this is kind of a review of everything covered in the beginner course if you're like totally new and you need something more in depth you should probably go check it out you know it's worth it but if you just want to you know double check make sure you know everything that you need to know well you came to the right place so to make it easier to follow I'm gonna break up this video into parts some might even call it a list but number one before you start so every time you start something there's a before and there's things you should know when getting into playing the guitar and this is them so if you haven't bought a guitar yet you might be thinking acoustic or electric what it comes down to really is which one are you gonna play that said acoustic strings are thicker they're a bit harder to push down and they're ultimately gonna hurt your fingers more before you develop calluses But they're both gonna hurt so number two chords as a beginner There are eight chords that you should know but before we get into those here's a chord diagram. Whoa Confusing don't worry. I'll show you the left is the low E or the sixth string the right is the high E or the first string which is confusing cuz and then the rest are, you know, the things in between. And then the numbers are which finger you should use. It goes. So, the first three chords you should learn are D, A, E. The reason for that is because you can use your index finger as an anchor finger. What that means is, yeah, you can just keep it on the string while switching between chords. So that way, yeah, you don't have to totally lift your hand and, you know, be like, whoa. Now when you're playing the chords, you want to have your finger as close to the end of the fret as possible because there's less tension there. And now E, E, and A minor, which are D minor, A minor, E minor. A good way to remember the finger positions on these, think of the major chord, the bottom string that you're doing, just put it one fret back. And the last two chords you wanna learn are G and C. So if you're following along at home, you might have been making some chord shapes up here and notice that there's no sound coming out. Number three, strumming. So the most basic strumming pattern is just go one and two and three and four. And Basically, you strum down on the number, up on the end. Number four, practice. So first, how long should you practice? At first, the ideal amount is 30 to 60 minutes a day. If you don't have that much time, you can do less, obviously. <laughs> Even if you can get 10 minutes in, that's good. I mean, it's not great. It'd be better if you did longer, but it's still good. At first, you should practice strumming and chord changes separately. Obviously, you'll bring them together later. That's how you play. And the reason for that is it's more important to make sure you're playing chords properly and that it's actually ringing out. So, chordus in the hair. Once you have these eight chords down, you can basically play every pop song ever. Also, an important thing to practice is, uh, Ear training. It's a whole lot of fun. No, I hate it, but it's important to do it. And that's it. Congratulations. So if you like this, make sure to stick around. I'll be doing more. If you didn't like it, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you. Surrounded and up against the wall.